Good morning, everyone. Today, our group is going to present about the endemic species in Sri Lanka. Group members are Melissa and me, Vitida. First of all, I would like to introduce about the Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is an island country located in the Indian Ocean. However, it is geographically separated from the Indian subcontinent, but it has a tropical and warm climate. So there are several natural ecosystems, but the majority are the tropical forests. We can also see wetland, coastal area, and agricultural ecosystem within Sri Lanka as well. So there are three endemic species that I'm going to explain today. The first one is Sri Lanka blue magpie in the first picture, followed by the red slender rollers in the second picture, and the pearl fish blanket in the third one. So the Sri Lanka blue magpie it is a very cute bird with the red head and blue body. It has a cooperative care with the contact call of ching, 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 cat, crack, cat, and a very high pitch wee wee. It can also do the mim mimicry calls, but it had weak flight. While for the rest, land rollers, it is number six of 10 focal species. And in fact, it is the most social species out of all primates that are nocturnal. However, they're cute by rituals because people think they look like Satan, and they are primarily insectivores. The next species we'll be talking about in detail is the purple face langur. As you can see in the morphology, it has this white, you know, thing under its chin, and it also has like, you know, a brownish fur. Other color exists also, but mostly it's brown. Uh, so previously it's placed in the wrong genus due to its size, but due to genetic evidence, uh, it is now placed in the Semnophyticus uh, genus. So there is little sexual dimorphism, the male is larger in size, uh, and it is also arboreal, meaning that it's on, you know, canopies most of the time, and diurnal. So, the purple face langur being on trees most of the time, it is mostly, you know, it eats leaves most of the time, but it will also resort to eating fruits and flowers. Uh, it will also eat soil from the termite mound to get minerals to aid digestion and defend against toxin. Um, uh, little is known about this species because of its shyness, but we do know that it lives up to 14 members. Uh, the composition is usually one male, seven female, and the other else is like offspring. There are also groups that, you know, are all males, but a uh, recent study have seen that, you know, it evolved in composition to have two males. The uh, one other male will provide, you know, uh, more protection to the group uh, to look out for predators. So where does the purple face langur evolve from? The purple face langur, is, you know, according to the genetic data by the cytochrome B and the PRM1 gene, they found that it is more closely related to the southern Hanuman langur, as you can see in the, you know, tree right there. So uh, basically, if you can look, if you look at the, you know, right hand side of the figure, um, the type five southern type, the ST5. Uh, it mostly lives in you know, the eastern, southern part. And uh, in the Sri Lanka, there, there's also the same type that lives on there. So maybe they like move on there somehow uh, and evolve into the purple face langur, which you know, its distribution is shown on the left-hand side. So uh, we think that there is speciation that caused the gametic barrier between the Hanuman langur and the purple face langur. So the PRM1, uh, codes for protein one, which determines the sperm fertility as well as morphology, which determines the uh, motility. So it is possible that the mutation in this gene will cause the two species to be unable to interbreed with each other successfully. And if you could look at the figure two in the left hand side, uh, the similarities between the Hanuman, the southern Hanuman langur in Sri Lanka and the purple face langur in Sri Lanka is that both of them have the A2 gene. However, the difference is, is that uh, the southern Hanuman langur in Sri Lanka has A1 gene, while the pearl face langur has the, you know, doesn't have the A1 allele, essentially. So the speciation in behavior, uh, the Hanuman langur spend 80% of the time in the ground. They mostly sleep on canopies uh, and hide from predators on canopies also. The pearl face langur, though they are almost never seen on the ground, and yeah, uh, the Hanuman langur uh, eats in addition to what the Pogo langur eats, which is the you know roots and leaves from shrubs. Hanuman langur is also less threatened by human because it has this white coating, and as the name suggests, the Hanuman langur Hanuma is like 
related to the Hanuman God, there is spiritual belief that protects it. However, the purple face langur does not have that luxury and it is more threatened by human because of its, you know, normal brown coating. So it looks like, you know, normal monkey pests. Hanuman langur is moderately shy, while purple face langur is extremely shy. A study has found that it runs faster, not because of its morphology, but due to its psychological factor. So what makes them endemic? Uh, we propose that upon their arrival in Sri Lanka, the Hanuman langa um, occupies the high canopy to avoid you know, competition with other organisms, uh, predation and harm from humans. Uh, the spatial separation then causes this Hanuman langa to speciate, uh, you know, causing you know, gametic barrier and behavioral uh, barriers. Since uh, only some place has high canopy for it to live in, the purple face langur became confined within the canopies of Sri Lanka. Uh, to add, uh, lately there's been some observed changes in the behavior and the color coding of the uh, purple face langur in order to coexist with human because there's like for, uh, forest fragmentation. So basically it became less shy to humans and it became a little bit wider so that the humans won't kill it. Thank you very much. Is there any questions? Thank you.